Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. Today's vlog is going to be a fun one because I am actually going into London for a session. So I will see if I'm allowed to talk about what we're doing or not. <laughs> <laughs> and if I am, I'll let you know later. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to it because I've been sent through the players list and actually a bunch of my uh, teachers and tutors are going to be there, um, which is always a fun moment because it's kind of nice to be like, look, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it. Like what you, your, your teaching work, you know, and they are, they are such incredible teachers. Um, I am phenomenally lucky to have been taught by such incredible musicians. Um, so yes, I am very, very much looking forward to seeing them again. And also, it's worked out perfectly because the church that we're recording in is literally like a 10 minute walk away from one of my oldest friend's flat. So I can stay with her and apparently her flatmate is away. So I even get a, like, I get a full bedroom to myself. What a dream. So, because this is the only thing with me living a bit out of town, is that obviously I have to either like find accommodation, um, because a lot of sessions and London orchestras don't offer accommodation, um, basically because there are loads of players in London. <laughs> um, so they don't, you know, they, they could get players that they don't have to pay for accommodation for, if that makes sense. So a lot of the time I use it as an opportunity to stay with friends, which is lovely, um, and such is the case today. But I'm gonna finish getting ready and then head on into London because um, I'm gonna get a bus this time, get National Express, because there are loads of like train strikes and stuff going on at the moment and I don't wanna get there and my train be canceled. <laughs> Cause that would be uh, less than ideal because it's the first time I'm working with this particular fixer um so first impressions they're very important i do not want to be uh yeah i mean i want to be there so yeah i'm gonna get some makeup on on my face i'm also very much enjoying wearing this jumper again because this is an absolute string player problem is that <laughs> whenever i am uh playing i can't wear big roll necks like this um, because this just all gets in the way. But because we're also filming the session, we need to be in like concert wear. So I can wear this until I get there and then just take it off and get changed into my concert gear, which is an absolute dream. So I can be stuck with it. I literally, I, I, I have to like plan <laughs> when I'm gonna wear this because otherwise I'm like, no, because I've got a gig that day, so I can't wear it. Anyway, um, the first thing I'm gonna put on is this rhodial glass powder and then I'm going to be using my uh, Spectrum A, A04 brush. Now, I actually got these in um, an edit that a YouTuber I watch, Lydia Elise Millen. She put this together with Cosmotips. So it's a little mini edit from her. And it's just, it's amazing because basically the whole edit was, a, uh, was it 50 pounds, I think? And this powder just on its own is like 40 something. <laughs> So I wanted to try this for ages, but that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money just to spend on a powder. Um, but a whole bunch of stuff came in the edit. So um, if it's still in stock, I'll link it down below because honestly, I do think it's a really, really good deal. And when it comes to base makeup, I I worked very hard to get my skin to a very nice place. Um, so I literally just put on some powder because my SPF that I use is quite shiny <coughs> and it makes me quite shiny and I just, I don't, uh, that's not the vibe I'm going for, so powder is life. Okay, so for eyebrows, I have had them like waxed and tinted, so I only need like, I'm just literally going to put like a little bit of product just in the ends because otherwise I feel like this, I mean this side's okay, but that side just disappears. Um, and I'm going back to an old favourite and this is the Revolution Pro. Uh, brow pomade and this is actually in the shade blonde Um I really it's, it's, it's really gross it's so it's so old um, if you are actually blonde blonde and not um, blonde like me um, I think this might be a bit dark for you but it is just the perfect like cool tone and it just it matches my eyebrows when I've had them tinted absolutely perfectly um so i always end up coming back to this <laughs> um when i'm literally just wanting to just 
fill in any little patchy bits because I have, as I've said before, I have quite a soft <laughs> rounded face um, and I just think having having more defined eyebrows is a good thing for me personally. There we go, done. It's super, super easy. And whilst I love like the little pens and things like that, I just, I keep coming back to this. So I think I need to buy a new one because it's kind of, it's a bit dried out and gross to be honest. Okay, so for blush, I'm just gonna go for it a little bit more of a peachy shade. And this is by a Korean brand called Peri Pera. I think that's how you say it. Um, and I absolutely love this because it's okay, you already shine. As that suggests, this is a matte blush. So again, just not wanting to add too much shine to the face. Um, it is really pigmented. So uh, just be warned with this one. But I love it because particularly when I still have a little bit of um, summer tan going on, I really love a peachy blush because I feel like it just kind of draws that out a little bit more and then well I was about to say last but not least but I actually I am still continuing to use two mascaras <laughs> um this is actually a natural collection one which you can get in boots and this is their volume one I am so torn with this this is so cheap so for the price it is it is really really good um but the brush isn't great and the way i mean it's just not my preference because it's a very kind of standard mascara wand whereas i prefer the ones that like fan it out a little bit but it is actually a really good mascara for the price it is and i'm trying to resist the temptation to go back to my expensive mascara ways <laughs> Okay, so that's the difference in my lashes. Now this is actually running out a bit, so it's not showing it in its best, um, in its best capacity. But yeah, I mean, it does, you know, it does do what it says on the tin, and it does work really, really well. But I don't find it has amazingly good lasting power. It doesn't flake off, it doesn't smudge, which is amazing, but it just sort of disappears. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure, I'm not quite sure how, how it does that. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for a really good solid, very affordable mascara, I, I I do recommend. Okay, and then for bottom lashes and to just kind of separate them out a little bit, I'm using the Faux Effect Lash Wide Eye Mascara from Revolution Pro. I really like Revolution Pro as a, as a makeup brand. I think they, they get it really, really right between good products in nice packaging that are nice to use, but without the, re <laughs> without the ridiculous price tag. Okay. Quick, I was about to say pro tip, <laughs> not a pro at all. Um, but if you are like me and you tend to get mascara all over your eyelids whenever you do your mascara, get yourself one of these little like cotton buds and then wait for it to dry. This is key. If you do this when your mascara is wet, it will smudge everywhere, <laughs> okay? And then just really gently, just Buff it away. Oh, and sort out your eyebrows while you're at it. And then you have a nice clean, as opposed to mascara, you have a nice clean eyelid. Okay, so that's me ready to go. I am gonna finish chucking a few more things in my suitcase and then I will be off to get my coach. So, okay, it all goes okay. <laughs> Basically, my bus is delayed by nearly two hours, <laughs> which is the downside of getting the bus. I generally don't mind it, but if anything goes wrong, it goes wrong so much worse than if, you know, you're on a train a lot of the time, so hey-ho, we saved ourselves some money. But first session went well. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you what we're recording. <laughs> so for the sake of safety, then I'm not going to, but it's a very well-known call group <laughs> it's all i'll say so uh yeah amazing first date long quite long <laughs> um i was tired by the time we got there but yeah 
I'm gonna go and buy myself a coffee, explore the park, and I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Hampstead Heath has just ever so slightly stolen, uh, stolen my heart I think. It's so lovely here and I've just been sat at the viewpoint just kind of drinking my coffee, taking in the London skyline and it's so nice to be able to come somewhere where I can basically see lots of London at once. <laughs> because I still very much feel like a tourist here because obviously I come here quite a bit for work but it's so nice to be able to actually come and just kind of experience a little bit of the quieter side of it and not always be like on the streets and in town like literal could be anywhere in the countryside right now it's so nice um so i'm gonna head back to my friend's flat i'm gonna grab some lunch on the way i did see an m&s food so i think that might have to be it <laughs> and yeah and then just get ready because we're filming this session as well it's like um yeah it's a whole production so we have to sort of be glammed up and uh concert ready as it were so i'm gonna head back get ready and then head to the session i won't be able to film anything at the session as per usual sorry um but i will i will do my best to kind of fill you in on what's happened afterwards and then i'm going to be getting the train back tonight which will be yeah which will be good so i was going to get the train back tomorrow morning but basically i just wouldn't really get home until lunchtime and then it's just the day gets away from you so i'm gonna head back tonight uh it'll be a bit of a late one but that's okay such is the life and yeah i'll see you guys a bit later So I am back home now and I'm back home with this little one who decided to uh, sit exactly where uh, I was going to sit to uh, film. So, um, and quite frankly, she's too cute to move, so we're going to let her stay. Um, I can only apologise for my terrible vlogging. My trip to London was very, very, very good, very, very good. I can tell you all about what we were recording. In fact, I'm encouraged to. Um, so I'll talk you through that in a second. Uh, but yeah, so my coach was like three, uh, three hours delayed. Not quite that much, I would have missed the session. Uh, delayed by like an hour. So everything was a bit of a rush on the first day. And then I just went back to Ruth's house um, and just chilled. Cause honestly I was shattered. It's quite an intense uh, session because we're f we were filming it as well. You had to really be like, in concert mode effectively for like six hours <laughs> which is really hard work um but really really good fun really amazing to see everyone so lovely to see my teachers um i'm actually going to be seeing them uh when are you seeing okay so when you'll be watching this in like two days time, I'll actually be seeing them all again. Um, because we will be doing a fundraising concert for GAM, so Gloucester Academy of Music, which is where I learned to play. Um, we're doing a fundraising concert, which will be absolutely amazing. And I will leave the link to that in the description. Um, if any of you are Gloucestershire based, um, then please do check it out. It would be, I mean, it would be lovely to meet you for one, but also it would be, uh, yeah, it's just, it's an incredible organization and I would not be where I am without it. So yes, plug for that one done. Um, <laughs> but it was lovely to see them and I actually got to see another friend of mine who I actually, I've actually only sort of met her once, um, but we were on a patch together in Belfast before the pandemic and she's just so lovely and we've sort of kept, you know, in touch with each other on Instagram and things. So um, it was really lovely to see her. Um, and yeah, just um, my desk partner, I hadn't met her before, um, and she was great fun. She saved my absolute life because I have had this like niggly, tickly cough um, for a while now. It's not COVID, I have tested. Um, but it turns out that tickly coughs in the middle of uh, recording sessions are not very helpful. Like, I mean, you know, who knew? Uh, <laughs> so I had, uh, there was only, there was actually one time where we were just about to start recording and I like properly had to cough and bless him. The conductor was so nice about it. But I was like, oh, it's just, it's embarrassing because everyone has to stop for you. Um, but she had these, my desk partner had these like cough sweets, which are like 
I think they were like stretch soles, but they were like proper, they were specifically for coughs. Um, but the only problem is, is that I had, I had to have so many of them um, that I actually ended up feeling quite ill. So that's why. <laughs> That's why I didn't really vlog much um, once the session had finished. Plus, once the session was done, I literally got my stuff together, uh, hopped on the tube and picked up myself a very glamorous McDonald's, ate that on the train um, and had a nap. So, uh, so there wasn't very much very exciting stuff going on. I got back about 1am, I think. So yeah, late, but not too bad. At least you're back in your own bed, which is nice. And also, you know, that is, I often say like, that is the price I pay for getting to live outside of London in a beautiful, beautiful part of the world, the compromise for that is that I have to travel, which is totally fine. So, you know, I, I would much rather it that way around. So, uh, yeah, so that was that. And yes, so what we were actually recording was for a vocal group called Botches 8, who are phenomenal. Just check them out, just in general. Absolutely incredible voices. And Barney, who is one of the members of Botches 8, was conducting the orchestra. And it was for their live from London. I think it's like, I, I don't know whether it's like an annual thing or, or what, but basically it's going to be a virtual concert. So you can buy tickets and watch it. So it'll be going live tomorrow when you're watching this. And um, so on the 15th of October, it's going to be going live at 7pm. And I will leave the link for it in the description. Um, we were doing the Lark Ascending with, it's with a soloist called Jack, and I've forgotten his surname, so I'll pop it, I'll pop it on the screen here. Phenomenal violinist, but then obviously we had the orchestra, and then we had the choir as well, so we had some like, so we had some voices involved, which normally there aren't in Lark Ascending, so that was phenomenal, and then we did a new recording of a, a work called L The Lost Birds by Christopher Tin, who's an American composer, and when I say it is some of the most beautiful music I have ever heard. I like I mean that absolutely stunning. Like if I ha if I wasn't already married I would I would walk down the aisle <laughs> to to one of the pieces. It was just honestly like brought a tear to my eye whilst playing it kind of beautiful like absolutely stunning. Um so yeah so you can buy like a ticket or you know a link and um and watch it at your leisure because it will be available for two weeks I believe. Um, and yeah, so you can watch it in your own good time. Actually, it might be longer than two weeks. I'll have all the, all the information will be down below. I can't remember it off the top of my head. But yeah, it was, honestly, I, I cannot, I am making no money from this. <laughs> so, you know, there is no financial gain to me plugging this. But honestly, it was just, it was so beautiful. I cannot recommend it more highly. And yeah, so that's why I was staying in London, which was absolutely lovely. It's so nice to see Ruth. So nice to have a catch up with her. I do, I do. <laughs> hello? Did you want to say hello? Yeah, you give, give the camera time. <laughs> Tilly, you are fully injured. Anyway, she's, she's the star of the show anyway, aren't you my love? But I do miss her when I'm away, I have to say. Um, so it's lovely to be back home. <laughs> Tilly, this is just, this is not working. This is a sign, isn't it? She's telling me to stop, to stop. Uh, what's the word? What would my mother say? Wittering. Stop whittering on, that's what she used to say. Oh, I'm just fully blocking my face now. Right everyone, well I will <laughs> I will sign off and I will see you guys very very soon. Have a great one. Bye!